I was 13 years old. Just letting you know now that is the least crazy part of the story. Ron? Okay, clap. 13 for me was not your typical 13. I was living at my grandma's house at the time and my grandma was a flight attendant, so she would always be out of the country. And I have aunts and uncles that are uh, close in age with me. My uncle was throwing this house party. All these people are 16, 17 years old. And it was raging, it was popping, everyone was enjoying themselves. His buddy forgot his car at a Taco Bell down the street. He didn't want to leave. He told his girlfriend to go get his car. She didn't want to go alone. Because I was the young guy, they're gonna make me do everything they don't want to. So they're like, Go with my girlfriend, get my car and bring it back. We're walking down the street. She's older, she's cool. When you're younger, you, you tend to think anyone that's older than you is automatically way cooler than you. The idea started to occur to me like, wow, this girl is so beautiful. I just wanted a kiss. If I got a kiss, I would be the belle of the ball or, and the, the coolest guy in my middle school, I would say. We get to the car and there's nobody there. It's like the middle of the night. It's the only car in the lot. Just complaining about her boyfriend. I stop her and I was like, I'm gonna do this. I remember saying something about like, you know, you deserve better girl and I went in for a kiss. Probably maybe kissed one person before, but as we're kissing, she just took it to a whole other level. There was tongue, then there's all these other things, and I'm like, what is going on? One thing leads to another, and I end up losing my virginity in a Taco Bell parking lot. It was the most beautiful moment I've ever shared in a Taco Bell. I was just thinking, whoa, this is what it feels like. This is what all those like LimeWire download videos were. I was like, I'm officially a man. So we're finished. So she just drives me back like a chauffeur because uh, I'm still putting my pants on in the back seat. Right when we get to the party, she just like darts off away from me. Me, I feel like a million bucks. I'm telling everybody. I'm not even thinking about the boyfriend. I'm going to every room saying like, yeah, you know, it was amazing, it was dope. Just like in this drunken, confident days of manliness, the boyfriend bops behind me and he's like, get in the kitchen, we gotta talk. Holy shit. I'm gonna get my ass kicked. These guys are older than me, taller than me, stronger than me. So he looks at me, he's like, you, uh, you had sex with my girlfriend? And I'm like, uh, yeah, I did. And he's like, okay. That's what's up, bro, that's what's up. You know, and he came up to me, like gave me a high five, my uncle's laughing, he's laughing. I'm sort of giggling, cause I still think I might get my ass whipped, but he, in a very gross way, was very supportive of my first time. Why do you think he was so supportive and didn't kick your ass? These weren't the best people in general. Who would even put a 13 year old in that situation is beyond me. She ended up hearing about how I guess her boyfriend was okay with it and that's what pissed her off. So she ended up leaving the party and honestly, I don't think I've ever seen her again. So it sounded like she did it to get back at her boyfriend. I got caught in a very dysfunctional relationship in a sexual love triangle. Luckily, I moved uh, back in with my mom and being the forceful Catholic woman she was, my sex life had a halt. Funny how like a 13 year old, I officially started my dry spell and then it didn't happen again until I was 18 with like a high school girlfriend. How did that time? differ from in the Taco Bell parking lot. You know, it was sweet and nice, but I was like, man, that it was pretty boring. <laughs> it's like, where's the nearest Taco Bell? In order to match the excitement I had for having sex with someone that I would never have a shot with, is like me now having sex with Rihanna. You try to have a normal sex life after that. There's this, this term I didn't hear later on in my life that made so much sense is that the biggest sex organ is your brain. And unless you got that in check, it's gonna dictate what experiences you have with that person. I mean, it, the thing is, yeah, if it happened to a, a kid of my own, I would not be happy with it at all. Say at least do it in a Chipotle parking lot. I mean, be better than me at least.